Chapter Completion Element 1.1 I am going to start Element 1.2 Regulating Health and Safety In this element we have to study about framework of international and national laws that govern the conduct of businesses and organizations We have already studied legal reasons to manage health and safety in the last element let's know about the international framework International Labour Organization ILO this is agency of the United Nations most countries are members of it it sets international standards for hands by publishing conventions recommendations conventions it creates binding obligations or policies to implement their provisions as well as it has no legal authority unless ratified by the member state into its own legal structure recommendations provide guidance on policy legislation and practice let's see some regulations adopted by the ilo occupational safety and health convention c155 it is a goal setting policy for companies and nations occupational safety and health recommendation 1981 or 164 it supplements c155 and gives more guidance on how to comply with its policies as per ilo convention c155 sets employers responsibilities article 16 of c155 identifies obligations placed on employers to these are as follows ensure that workplaces machinery equipment and work processes are safe and without risks to health ensure that chemical physical and biological substances and agents are without risk to health when protective measures have been taken provide adequate protective clothing and equipment to prevent risks of accidents or adverse health effects everybody is responsible for health and safety but most of the responsibility lies with the employer to provide a safe place of work safe plant and equipment safe systems of work training supervision and competency of staff as per article 10 of our 164 employees responsibilities are provide and maintain workplaces machinery and equipment and use working methods that are safe give necessary instruction training and supervision in the application and use of health and safety measures introduce organizational arrangements relevant to activities and the size of the undertaking provide ppe and clothing without charge to workers ensure that work organization particularly working hours and rest breaks does not adversely affect occupational safety and health Take reasonably practical measures with a view to eliminating excessive physical and mental fatigue. Keep up to date with scientific and technical knowledge to comply with the above. As per Article 19 of C155 also places obligations or gives responsibilities and rights to workers which is expanded in our 164 as follows. take reasonable care of their own safety and that of other people comply with safety instructions and procedures use all safety equipment properly report any situation that they believe could be a hazard and which they cannot themselves correct report any work related accident ill health article 19 of c155 states that every worker must be given adequate information on actions the employer has taken to ensure safety and health given the right to the necessary training in safety and health consulted by the employer on all matters of safety and health relating to their work given the right to leave a workplace that he has reason to think presents an imminent and serious danger to his life or health and not be compelled to return until it is safe What is the role of enforcement agencies in health and safety? There is no harmonized global standard for health and safety. Some country specific agencies may be like this. Health and Safety Enforcement Agency, Fire Authority, 
इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज पुलिस में भी इन्वॉल्व इन एनफोर्सिंग हैंड्स लॉ इन सम कंट्रीज consequences of non compliance or breach of hands legislation is usually a criminal offense leading to it may lead to enforcement action like improvement or prohibition the prosecution may be in terms of organizations may be fined individuals may be fined or imprisoned other international standards like International Organization for Standardization ISO It is the world's largest developer of management standards For example ISO 9001 is for quality management ISO 14001 is for environmental management ISO 12100 is for safety of machinery These standards are not law they are good management practice they lead to a worldwide common approach to good management the internationally recognized standard for occupational health and safety is currently iso 45001 compatible with iso 9001 and iso 14001 Information on national standards can be obtained from the relevant national regulatory bodies who publish guidance documents which provide information on the legal standards required. Many of the regulatory bodies have websites which are valuable sources of information such as Health and Safety Executive UK, Occupational Safety and Health Administration USA, European Agency for Safety and Health at Work EU WorkSafe Western Australia